the people who could conquer such a great city called jericho they could not win a small city called ai and they were defeated so many israelites were killed joshua and the israelites went to the lord and they cried prostrated before him some might have even thought maybe we brought this prostitute with us maybe because of that no the lord said no the lord said there is a man so they brought the lot in the presence of god and the name of akan came and they called akan and asked him did you sin against god he said yes what did you do you told us rather the lord told us this town i is dedicated for black magic and soothsaying our god not only delivers his people but also destroys the power of evil in the world through the people who keep god in the secret of their hearts if the evil in the world has to be destroyed by people who keep their god in the secret of their heart if something else is replaced in the place of god instead of secret of god in the secret of your heart if you keep sin in secret you have relationships of sin in secret you have desires of sin in secret that sin will destroy you if you don't keep the lord in the secret of your heart the sin will find its place in the secret of your heart when you keep secret suddenly you go out close the numbers you don't want to talk in front of everybody go somewhere else right? secretly it's a sign sin is ruling you secret sin secret relationship secret desires for hunger for lust lust for power lust for money lust for standard position lust for flesh lust for name lust for fame it can be anything when the lust rules your heart in the secret of your heart you find that will find you one day that will catch you one day and will make you zero and it will humiliate you satan is after us not only to stop us to grow in the lord but also to be destroyed with his strong holds to be destroyed with whatever he has he has sickness he has hatred he has anger he has depression he has everything of the evil and he wants to fill you so what is in the secret of your heart is very important what is this what it i can do when he went to the town joshua said this town is dedicated for the black magic and so saying and we the children of god should not touch any of that so you have to burn it away otherwise even the dust of that will touch us burn away the homes burn away everything but when akan saw a beautiful egyptian carpet and when he saw a beautiful silver plate huge plate he took them it was looking so nice for him at the same time other soldiers should not see so he hid it and in a particular place and he covered it and then he came away he thought he can go later and take it away and then slowly he took it away 
to his tent in the secret of the night. Yes. If you don't keep the Lord in the secret of your heart, if your heart secretly doesn't hunger for God, your heart will work with the darkness. Secretly will work in dark forces. And when they put the lot, the name of Akan came. So the whole people of Israelites, they burnt because he got hold of those black magic things. He carried along with him. So they burnt him and all that belonged to him. When you don't carry the Lord with you secretly, the secret sin will carry you. Secret desires will carry you. And that's what happened to Akan. Today the Lord is calling each one of us. Check your hearts. What is ruling your heart secretly? In the secret of your heart, what is found? Check and refill it with the love for God. Refill it with the hunger for God. Refill it with the presence of God. Yes, because if you don't fill with the love and presence of God, the hatred and darkness of the enemy will come over you. Remember that God's love for you. We read in the book of Genesis chapter 1, the whole world was lying in darkness. The whole world was lying without shape. The whole world was shapeless. In that moment, the Bible says, the Holy Spirit was roaming around. It was just sitting over, hovering over. The word used was inhibiting over. Like the hen that sits over the eggs to bring life out of it. Yes, wherever there is darkness, the Holy Spirit comes and does it, it sits over, hovers around because the people who are his children who are caught up in certain darkness should not be destroyed. So though the darkness covers us, though it makes our life a shapeless, we are not, not left all alone the Holy Spirit of God, who is known as God of love, which we read in the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 5, that God of love fills our hearts with the power of the Holy Spirit. God's love is taken control of our life through the love of God, love of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit of God fills our hearts with the divine love. Yes. So the Holy Spirit, we read, when did God say, let there be light? When did God say? On the first day. First day, God said, let there be light. And the darkness disappeared. The light came. But when did God create sun, moon, stars? Huh? Fourth day. So the first day till the fourth day, who gave the light? Huh? Sun is created only on the fourth day. The stars came only on the fourth day. The 
light of the Holy Spirit. The word of God. The word came. Let there be light. When the word of God came, the Holy Spirit brought light. And that light governed four days. So seven, four is more than half or less than half? Huh? Four is huh? so more than half of creation days were lighted by Holy Spirit. So in every, that's why when you look at the mountain, your, your eyes will be there only. Why? When you see the sea, your eyes are gone somewhere else. When you see the birds and the sky, you are, your eyes are gone. Why? This particular type of creation attracts you because they are, when they were created, the light of the Holy Spirit was there. More than light of the world, the sun, moon, they all came later. That's why your heart, as soon as you see the sea, you feel like watching it. As soon as you see the water flowing, the mountains, the flowers, the skies, the birds were all created in these days. They attract your soul. They attract your heart. When you see a bird crying, shouting or making some noise, you just stop and look at it. You have seen birds so many times. But something is happening to you. In the secret of your heart, the Lord is, your heart hungers for God. And that's why St. Augustine said, my heart is restless, O God, until it finds its rest in thee. My heart is restless, O God, until it finds its rest in thee.